MQ-9 Reaper, the slow, vulnerable drone. The U.S. Air Force wants to retire. The MQ-9 Reaper was once the face of drone warfare, but now the U.S. Air Force wants to retire it. Why is this once-feared hunter-killer becoming obsolete? The Reaper cruises at a leisurely 200 to 300 miles per hour and flies at easily detectable altitudes. In a contested airspace with modern air defenses, it's not a hunter, it's a sitting duck. No stealth, no speed, just a target. The Reaper relies on satellite links, which are vulnerable to jamming and cyber attacks. Advanced Electronic Warfare EW systems can spoof its GPS, cut its control link, or even disable its sensors. A sophisticated enemy can blind it, or worse, take control. A single Reaper costs millions, and it's easily shot down by even older, cheaper air defense systems. Why risk an expensive asset when a $500 FPV drone can provide similar intel for fractions of the cost and zero risk to a high-value platform? The Air Force is moving on. The future of drone warfare is stealthy, autonomous, and networked combat drones like the XQ-58 Valkyrie. These drones can operate with man fighters, penetrate contested airspace, and survive where the Reaper simply can't. Is the MQ-9 Reaper a relic of the past? Tell us your thoughts below. Like and subscribe for more military tech updates.